Only on NBC5 News, a man who went missing for almost a week back in June is sharing his story tonight. David Yura, an avid hiker from Central Point, set out on Bigfoot Trail in Northern California with plans to meet his kids a few days later, but didn't show up. That's when his daughter, Ashley May, coordinated search efforts and went looking for her dad. NBC5's Amanda Rose joins us live in the studio to explain what happened next. Amanda? Chris and Craig, David Yura tells me through it all, his biggest concern was his family worrying about him and wondering if he was okay. He says that's what motivated him to continue on. What mattered is I know my family's worried about me. David Yura set out to tackle Bigfoot Trail in Northern California June 15th. He was supposed to meet his kids on June 21st, but never showed up. That's when his daughter, Ashley May Yura, knew something was wrong. It's not like my dad to just go missing. Panicked, Ashley May took to social media asking for help, even starting a GoFundMe page, knowing the search area could be as big as 144 square miles. That's where he had started to kind of lose um, trail. Law enforcement and search and rescue teams took to the sky, but no sign of Yura. That's when Ashley May and her family decided to go looking on their own. Not long after they started, a miracle. After 26 miles of hiking at in a few days, I came around the corner and there was May coming around the corner in her car and it was like, bam. Just from there, it was just like super surreal. Like I was like super like crying, like shaking. David and his furry companion Kingsley had been without water for 24 hours and without food for nearly four days. He says they'd been hiking for a few days when a heavy rainstorm covered the trail. When I was looking for the path. I had five liters of water. And between me and the dog, that five liters did not last that long. He then headed south, hoping to find help. And while climbing a steep mountain in 100 degree heat, his knee gave out. He was forced to leave behind some of his belongings, but was determined to keep going. You still have to go on. So it doesn't matter if you have, you know, you don't have food. Today at 63 years old, David says he's still recovering. His ammonia levels were previously low, causing him to forget things. I'm still trying to get my body back into the right nutrition wise. The two laugh about it all now, still debating about who found who first. I was like, Dad, we found you. And he was like, you didn't find me, I found you. I'm like, okay, well, thanks, Dad. You know, <laughs> I've been worrying about you this entire time. Yura's family is, of course, over the moon that he's alive and safe, while Yura says he's already preparing for his next hike when he's feeling up to it. Live in studio, Amanda Rose, NBC5 News.